एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी एंड आई एम अनमोल भाटिया दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो इन दिस पार्ट विल बी लर्निंग सर्टिन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एडिटिव मैन्युफैक्चरिंग in the first part we have seen the concept of additive manufacturing in this part we'll be learning at the application hello everyone i am anmol bhatia and welcome to s chand academy in today's video i'll be telling about the additive manufacturing concept if you want to have a detailed conceptual clarity on the topic you can refer to the book by s chan publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below so let us start the topic which is the second part of additive manufacturing and this is the topic of the course manufacturing practices so firstly we'll look at the advantages of the additive manufacturing process number 1 it eliminates the tooling requirement so in the previous so in the previous process we had uh, to use certain tools in order to machine the raw materials or the component to produce the final product but here we need to we need not to have uh, the tools in the process rather the system is incorporating the layers so that the final product is produced it also enables the weight reduction which is the major cause of concern of the majority of the industries which are let's say the medical industry or let's say the electronic industry they are pretty much concerned about the miniaturization and for that the weight is a major concern that they are looking at so this process enables the weight reduction also it enables new complex geometrical shapes to be produced so any complex geometrical shape which is uh, to be produced that can be produced with the help of additive manufacturing and with the help of uh, this process rapid iterations that if required for certain design permutations that be that can be done with the help of additive manufacturing it is also greener manufacturing technology it does not uh, harm the environment the material wastage is also minimal in this situation it is energy efficient and also it enables the personalized manufacturing now apart from the advantages the process has certain disadvantages or the limitations also number 1 it has the accuracy which is objectionable sometimes so for many materials the accuracy is plus minus 0.1 mm that means there is some room for error and there is a case in which there is a limitation on the raw materials let's say we have specific raw materials that can be used in this uh, additive manufacturing process and they are limited in numbers let's say it can work on approximately 100 raw materials and we have a variety of raw materials that can be used there are certain efforts which are required for uh, the setting up of the process so the complex uh, process uh, if it is done for let's say certain materials for uh, that this design requirement and other parameters needs to be looked for uh, for profit calculations the material cost also plays an important role because we need to use certain powders in order to add the material layer by layer and these material properties are limited because we have the limited choice of the material there so uh, the requirement that we have is the tensile property or the yield strength or the fatigue so these kind of requirements cannot be fully achieved because we have the limited set limited variety of the materials there are certain intellectual property issues also because these uh, 3d printed technology uh, can be easily replicated so one can easily replicate because these codes are easily available online so it generally creates an intellectual property issue 
and there is a size limitation also. So there is a size constraints for the 3D printed objects. The cost of 3D printer is also very high that leads to a limitation and there are certain production of dangerous items or the unchecked production of the dangerous item. There is one situation in which the Liberator which is the world's first 3D printed functional gun. This shows how easy one can produce own weapons and this is very uh, dangerous uh, thing and the government needs to devise ways and means to check these dangerous tendencies. Now let us look at the timeline uh, which is there uh, for the 3D uh, printing or you can say the additive manufacturing. See what happens in the initial part of beginning it has the concept of rapid prototyping. Then later rapid casting came into picture and then rapid tooling came into picture. Then in 2001 it led to the production of certain additive manufactured parts for automobiles and then it went long way for the aerospace industry. In 2005 some medical equipments were also produced. In 2009 certain medical implants are produced and then the aerospace industry and nano manufacturing. In 2007 aero architecture applications are also came into picture and then biomedical implants then biomanufacturing in situ, in situ uh, biomanufacturing came into existence and then the full body organs are to be produced and this is the point of research that is from 2013 to 2032 that full body organs can also be 3D printed with the help of this technology. So let us come to certain applications of additive manufacturing. The first and foremost application is in the medical field. As you can see on the video, there is uh, this technology which is additive manufacturing technology that is able to develop the body organs. One of such body organs is the socket joint for the hip. Additionally, uh, nowadays one can uh, easily see the applications in the other areas also. For an example, there is a case of hearing aids. So you can see on uh, the screen that there are some hearing aids which are also produced uh, with the help of this additive manufacturing process and it also helps the human beings with its applications. Coming to the other uh, medical applications, one such application is of the dental crowns. In the video here demonstrates the implant procedure in which the implant is being inserted in inside that cavity and after uh, inserting the implant there is a procedure which is called as crowning in which the crown is placed over the surface of the implant to have a better clarity or to have a look uh, and the shape of the teeth. So these crowns are majorly made with the help of the 3D printed technology. There are other applications of the additive manufacturing process. Uh, one of such one such application is this application in which uh, there is a case of a spring summer 2015 collection that was presented in Paris and one Dutch fashion designer has presented the 3D printed garments. As you can see on the screen, uh, some 3D printed garments that has been showcased in that fashion show. The video demonstrates certain garments that are 3D printed with the help of this technology. Another application of this additive manufacturing technology is the parents can nowadays print the sonographic image of the baby for remembrance. So these uh, images can now easily be 3D printed and one can gift or one can have the remembrance of the images uh, printed in the 3D shape and they can use it in, in their mobile phones, uh, pockets or they can use as a keychains in the same. Another beautiful application is the food printing. There is one company uh, in Tokyo that is offering a 
service which is the customized printed chocolate uh, for resemblance with the customer's face. So one can easily uh, gift a chocolate which is the shape of their face to the loved ones. So this answers to my question that uh, I have asked in the initial part of the video that you can gift the chocolate of your face to the loved ones uh, during this Valentine season. So this is the technology that would uh, make you familiar uh, with the chocolates that you can uh, offer to the loved ones. So with this we come to the end of uh, the second part of the video in which we have learnt certain advantages, uh, limitations and applications of additive manufacturing technology. For the detailed conceptual clarity, you can refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting, like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.